Hello friends, it's me Beth. Today I'm taking you back into the heart of Shipshawana to one of my very favorite places, Yoder's Meat and Cheese Company and Gourmet Foods. Now I know I take you to a lot of places that are Amish and I tell you all the wonderful things and I only take you to my favorite places, but this really is one of my very, very favorite toward the top of the list. Here you can see that the meat is all a natural, locally grown, with no byproducts, no hormones, and no antibiotics. When you get inside, you'll see the store. It's one of those, it's just spotless. And there's, I mean, it's just a spotless place. Everyone is friendly. They have the beef. They have the chicken. Here you can see the pork. At the end of the video, I'll get up close photos for you so you can see prices and different flavors. Here you can see lamb, veal, grass-fed beef, buffalo, and GMO-free beef as well. They have these huge counters with their different sorts of meats and cheeses. And then like, for example, we have this Yoder smoked turkey. If you lived by yourself and you wanted something smoked, that's a small 248 or something for that. Here's a smoked salmon half. Um, so they have fish as well. A, a smoked whole chicken. And my dad does this. This is expensive to smoke meat. For $10.75, you get the quality meat plus the smoking done for you. Uh, and then a Yoder's Hickory Smoked Sugar Cured Bone-In Ham. $44.67 is actually very reasonable. There's a lot of work that goes into that and such quality. Now here's one of those huge counters I was talking about. I can't pronounce all these cheeses and there are so many that I couldn't photograph them all. But I tried to pick out things for the people who watch this channel like the people who like really hot stuff, here's a Carolina Reaper cheddar cheese. Wow, that does sound hot. Then if you don't like super hot but a little hot, here's a smoked bacon black pepper, a bruschetta jack, and a chipotle pepper cheese. If you don't like hot at all, they have this Yoder's Creamy Swiss. That sounds like something my husband would really enjoy. Then as well, they carry... Now... I don't know if this is Guggensburg, but that's what I'm going to call it. Smoked baby Swiss and then an Ohio baby Swiss cheese as well. Swiss on rye cheese. My mom has had that. She loves the Swiss with the rye and a smoked bacon black pepper cheese. A couple different choices there. I haven't shared these flavors before. An Amish butter cheese and a Havarti with dill. So like I said, if I don't pronounce them right, you can put them in the comments and kind of help me out there. Uh, these are raw milk cheeses, a Chesapeake Bay, uh, garlic and dill, and then a sharp four-year cheddar. My guys here are huge fans of cheese curds. These are wood-fired pizza cheese curds. And I know for $7.99 a pound, you probably think that's expensive. Not everything in the store is super expensive, but for the quality here, like this garlic and cheese curds, you really, I mean, you just can't sit down and eat a lot of it, and it's excellent quality. Sun-dried tomato basil and cheese curds. So maybe if this is something that's kind of expensive, but you're in the area, you know, when you want to treat yourself, that's fine too. Uh, the meat prices are very reasonable. The Amish-style hand-rolled butters, this is a two-pound pack of the salted. Now they also have one-pound packs, and I took a photo of this to show you they have the unsalted as well. These are all things that uh, I just, the whole store is just packed full of goodness. Now, if you're in Shipshawana, black buggy blend, that makes total sense. Same thing with the dusty lane blend. We have a lot of those around here. And a Shipshawana blend, of course. This is by Daybreak Coffee Company. With that coffee, maybe you'd like some baked goods. They do have bakery goods. These are from, um... The Country Lane Bakery. Noodles, they have things if you want to, um, just it, just everything. Artichoke spinach noodles and a bell pe pepper ba basil noodle. The flavors, I guess it's a, it's a store full of flavor. That's a good way to describe it. This back corner I get lost in for just forever. I wanted to share some things maybe you hadn't seen on my channel before, like this bacon Bavarian sauerkraut and an apple kraut. If you haven't been here before, I always share a lot of pickles from these stores. And Farmhouse Pickles says it all. And, and I just thought that was such a good photo. Beautiful, beautiful Yoder's Meat and Cheese Pickles. 
They have traditional bread and butter slims and the dill pickle slims as well. So a lot of pickle variety. I could go on and on in that pickle section. But they also have things like pickled carrot sticks and marinated mushrooms. So if you're not a pickle fan, plenty other vegetables over there to pick from. Here's a sweet mixed pickle. It actually has in there, it looked like some cauliflower and other things. So I haven't checked out this brand before, but I am going to at some point. Zesty pickled garlic. Lots of pickling items. Here, by the way, you can see the ingredients. I know some of one has asked to see ingredients, and I'm going to get better at that for them. Here are some mild pickled quail eggs. I haven't shared that before. And some jalapeno quail eggs. Something else I haven't shared, bread and butter squash and Vidalia onion relish. So a lot of new things on this video that I haven't shared before. And then I'm just sharing this traditional bread and butter, bread and butter pickle. So the person who needs to see the ingredients can stop this video and zoom in right there and see what goes into those. So like I said, this back corner area with canned vegetables and pickles, and that's a bunch of fruit and peaches right there in the middle. I get lost in this section, and yeah, it's still a little bit decorated for Christmas. Uh, when I was in here taking this, I was in there two or three weeks ago, in, uh, into January, I think, beginning of February. And then I went back a couple weeks uh, last week and took these photos for you because I accidentally deleted the cheese photos, and I had to make this video. Now, as far as sweet stuff goes, oh boy, lemon cheesecake, cream brulee, I bought that one, and key lime pie. These are cheese ball or dessert mixes. You can make it like a cheese ball or you can do like the dip or you can bake it. Here's a cheese ball and dessert mix, juicy mango and a turtle cheesecake. I'm going to try all of these someday. There's a smoking and a smokehouse bacon and cheddar cheese ball and appetizer mix and this caramelized onion cheese ball and appetizer mix. I'm going to get both of those next time, I think. Bacon stuffed mushrooms, cheese ball mix again and some Tuscan olive my mom would probably really favor that one. A tiramisu dip mix. And by the way, these are really usually pretty easy to make. Uh, you can see there's no MSG and no added, added uh, salt. But most of them just take, like, say, for example, two ingredients. Maybe it's a pack of cream cheese and some milk, for example. It's A lot of these are super easy and don't take a lot of work. Like I bet you the strawberries and cream dip mix. Probably just a couple ingredients and that's set to go. Great for a little gathering, special treat, like Valentine's just passed. Also, scones to go with some of these dips and mixes. They have some scones here. Just added, um, just add water and you bake it. Pretty simple. They have salsa mixes, by the way, and cheese spread mixes as well. So I could get lost in that section forever and I'll stop now before you get tired of listening to it. They do have the... Peanut butter, this is the Amish style peanut butter, and you want to know the price on one of my videos. And so it is $6.99 for a pint. With that peanut butter, if you would like some jam, here's that. And there you can also see the ingredients. I'm trying to learn to turn a can and show you the left is the front of the jar. And then on the right, try to show you the ingredients, the jar on the right. Hope that works out more in some of my future videos. And once again, this is just a lovely little shot of that peanut butter area where you can pick from the different flavors of peanut butter and some of the other mixes. They have a lot of candy, by the way, in that sweet treat area. And also they have these cheesecake mixes as well. There's a lemon and a chocolate mint, which I'm sure the chocolate mint would be a favorite here with these guys. A, a caramel or if you want to say caramel cheesecake. And then here is a no-bake strawberry cheesecake mix as well. So they have mixes for everything in there. Uh, no-bake orange and no-bake triple chocolate. Lots of easy to put together, super simple things. If you're Maybe if your hands, if you've got arthritis, those mixes are so simple. Creamy mushroom soup, a dried mix. So they carry the soups as well. An Italian wedding soup mix. And here's an Italian sausage soup mix. Now, some of those were a little bit more on the expensive side, but they do have some that are more reasonable. Of course, we're going to have the baking good stuff there as well. So I just figured I'd share with you that. They have like a small area with some baking good stuff, like this Watkins baking vanilla extract. And then these soaps. I actually have bought these soaps. I'll show you the place that I bought them in a future video. I bought it at 
bought them in a different place but here you can see a lilacs uh, and lace a water lily and bluebell a lavender a desert rose so they carry everything and just so you know not all the meat is frozen they do have a small uh, counter there with the fresh sliced meat and look at this bacon so $5.99 a pound for the quality you're going to get and I'll get into that quality subject here in a minute at the end of the video as far as our experiences with it back there at that meat counter as well they have things like these ham salads and chicken salads not everything back there is uh, pure meat they do have some of the pineapple cream cheese spreads and raspberry walnut cream cheese spreads as well so huge variety in that area i have not tried either of those spreads or this spread this crab cocktail cocktail but with all the experiences we've had before in the past um, i would not be shocked if it's not wonderful it's just going to take time for me to try a lot of these things they also have a small deli counter uh, that you can see here with just lunch meats and then they have a small cheese counter with just regular cheese that you can sl have sliced for your sandwiches and such but now to this freezer section which is really the highlight of the store they carry this i told you all the perks about their you know no, no hormones and stuff like this country style sausage and this sausage with sage it is only 249 a pound and when i cook this at home you have no waste we have bought the patties to before like this this country style sausage patties when i fried them those patties stayed the same size uh, it was unbelievable better than any other place i've ever bought sausage there was no waste and i talked about this flavoring here like this apple cinnamon sausage patty they have a wide variety of flavorings if you just don't want the same old same old the flavors are endless and for $2.49 a pound for that. I think it's 20 cents more to get the uh, patties already made. Here you can see some apple cinnamon rope sausage. The sausage especially has a lot of flavors back there. Um, flavors that I can't get where I live. For example, like this pizza with cheese bratwurst. We've actually bought that. And then we've also bought the next one coming up if it's the green pepper. Uh, nope, the mushroom and Swiss cheese bratwurst. We did buy the green pepper and onion one. Um, I can't remember the exact name of it. But when you cut into it, it is loaded up with these vegetables. They carry whole chickens um, as well. And these are only $1.99 a pound. Like I said, for the hormone free and all of that. That's a really good price right now at the beginning of 2021. Here's chicken banjos. I think those are kind of like ch chicken drumsticks. I don't know. I'm going to ask them next time. They have goose and they have duck as well we don't really cook a lot of that around here but if you do like that sort of stuff they carry that back to their steaks you can see the very reasonable price a beef t-bone steak for $12.99 a pound maybe closer to my home i can get a little cheaper but the quality just will not be there here is their ground chuck so they have this is in the beef section and you can see the prices on these things most of them up close i try to gather them up uh, ribeye steak burgers they have those i think that's 5.99 a pound or 6.99 i can't remember you should be able to tell in the photo when you see it thin cut ribeye steaks 10.99 a pound so that was nine dollars so i'm sure there's a, probably a stack of four in there believe it or not and they're pretty thin now they also have in the beef section things like the salisbury steak box and it tells you the ingredients how to take these and make them into salisbury steak so that's pretty nice to have beef chuck roast around here um we may be able to you know get the same price here at home but it won't be the all natural and the hormone free for 5.99 a pound again for that chuck chuck roast and it's already like i said you can see here it's wrapped up in this freezer paper oh here's their regular just ground beef it's a 3.59 a pound it's already wrapped up in the paper for you ready to go in the freezer you don't even have to do that so here's their um percents the ground beef the ground chuck the sirloin and the round and it's wrapped up in the freezer paper sometimes i try to buy it on sale and i'll wrap it up at home but that's just so much work here's those flavors a jalapeno cheddar a hawaiian bratwurst a habanero mango bourbon peppercorn sweet cherry bratwurst we bought that philly beef we bought that pizza cheese we've bought it 
mushroom and Swiss, green pepper and onion, that's the one we've had, bacon and cheddar, and a German. So by the way, once again, this is Yoder's Meat and Cheese Company. And if you ever get close to Shipshawana, if you're on the south side of the Michigan or the west side of Ohio or the east side of Illinois, this is a great place to come. Um, if you're just visiting in the area, there's things you can go in there and grab. Maybe if you're staying somewhere and cook it back at where you're staying temporarily to visit the area. If you like this video, give me a like. I'll be back with more of these videos. Hope you're having a good day. Take care.